to help shed a little more light on the process that brought the burned relic back to its current glory. Joining us now, we have Randy Dixon, the Relight the Night Committee Chairman, and Stephanie Pelagi from Old Town Pocatello. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. Thank you. How did the genesis of this start? How, what, was the, what was the impetus that said, let's take this sign and let's bring it back to Pocatello, let's restore it and light it up? Well, I think it started years ago. We actually got bids along the way, starting in about 19, well, about 2004, 2005. We, we knew the sign was in storage. Let's get oh. it out, let's get it renovated. But we didn't get a momentum and a group and really those, the advocates together until about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And Randy stepped up and took charge of the committee. So what state was this sign in? I'm guessing it did not look like it came fresh from the factory. No, you had showed a picture of it sitting in a field next to a, a, a fence, and it sat there for 10 years. Wow. Huh. And in uh, 2003, Roger Chase, the mayor at the time, decided to move it into an empty warehouse at the airport. So luckily, it spent the last 10 years oh, wow. in, inside, or it would have never made it. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's where the sign has been all of these years. And, and once Stephanie came up with the concept, of, of, of uh, making the sign a reality, myself and a group of nine actually put together a real strong community effort and we made it happen. Yes. Very cool. Now, tell me about the process of restoration. Uh, you had to send it down to Utah to get it restored <laughs> and get it, uh, I guess you say not all the light bulbs worked when you sent it down there. Uh, what was that process like? Uh, we spent, we, we did kind of a ribbon cutting, unveiling sign when we pulled it out of storage. We had the sign company there and invited the community to come out and see the sign as it was going off to St. George, Utah for renovation. We took as many of the small old bulbs out as we could and we used them for fundraising efforts throughout the, oh, the time cool. where the sign was gone. Mm -hmm. And then we knew a, the date the sign was going to come back. So um, we got pictures and kind of an update along the way and then all of a sudden the sign came back and <laughs> And to see it from what it was and then have it back home in, in what it looks like today is just inspiring. It is very. <laughs> Why inspiring? is this sign so inspiring to Pocatello? What is it about that sign that just said, we have to get this back? Well, for one thing, the Chief Theater is at the heart of Old Town and contains so much history. And, and everybody who grew up, grew up in Pocatello equates uh, uh, their youth to, to hmm. the Chief Theater. And so consequently, we just felt it was important that the sign go up so that the history of the chief continue on. Without this, the sign being restored, the history of the chief was in dire risk of being lost. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had kids, you know, that the, the, the grandparents met there. They went to their first date, they had their first <laughs> kiss, and we've heard all of those stories oh, from wow. just so many folks that have come back to see the sign. So what, was your, uh, what were your emotions in November when the lights were flicked on? <laughs> oh. It was incredible. Um, you know, we, we actually had a raffle, and my brother-in-law from Lewiston said, you had a raffle, and the winning prize was to switch the sign on, and you raised, and you raised how much doing that? Exactly. And I said, we raised quite a bit of money huh. for that. And when that, yeah. when that switch was thrown, the, the audience was just in awe. It was huh. beautiful. So we were really excited. There were a lot of tears in the crowd that uh, night. Oh, I awesome. can tell, because when we asked the question, you both went, Oh, it really means something to both of you. We can really tell. Now, you are on the verge of getting an award for the sign. Tell us a little bit about this award. It is the Preservation Idaho Cultural Heritage Award, as you had said. And it's, it's one of few, of uh, very few in, in Idaho. And we're very proud of it. Um, and we think that it, it uh, is going to do well for Old Town Pocatello to have received this award. Mm -hmm. Now, the sign is just the small snowflake on the top of a snowy mountain that's about to roll down the hill. Stephanie, tell us a little bit about what we're going to do from here on out. Well, and, and that's, I think, the, the most exciting part about this project is we didn't just do a sign. We really made it a, a community-wide effort to save the historic neon signs throughout the Old Town area, and we even have some that are outside of Old Town. So what we want to do is um, continue to raise money, continue to work with some of the property owners and some of the abandoned signs, and really we have a list of about 15 signs that we've targeted for some type of, of restoration. Some of it's just minor work, some of it is massive work, and then we're seeing some private owners step up. Meyer Shoe sign was just completely renovated by its property owner, or oh, the wow. sign owner, and he did that because he was inspired by what we had done with the chief wow. theater sign. Well, I know that there are a lot of Pocatellans out there who are very thankful for both <laughs> of your hard work and making sure that this actually came 
to life and it happened. So thank you, both of you. Stephanie, Randy, thanks for coming on the show and we're looking forward to uh, some more very uh, colorful evenings while we stroll in Old Town. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.